Hi, my dears. Happy to see you all again. I hope all of you are keeping well. Welcome back to our English class. Do you remember till? Till Ilan Spiegel? What is uh, till doing now? Don't you remember? Where was till? In the palace of Archduke of Battenberg. And what was Till doing now? Tell me. He is going to paint the portrait of Archduke along with the courtiers. With all the courtiers. Okay. Let us see uh, what is uh, going on. Okay. Ready? Here we go. So the 11th paragraph. The following day, he asked the Archduke for the hole where he was to paint the picture. He was shown a large room with bare walls. The following day, or in the following, following day, next day, the following day, he asked the, for, asked the Archduke for the hole where he was to paint the picture. So he is going to paint the picture in a hole. In, a, in the wall of a very big hole. Uh, where, where do the painters paint their pictures? In a canvas. But here, uh, Till is going to paint the picture on a wall. Why? Can you guess why? Yes, it's a very big portrait with the Archduke, the Duchess and all the courtiers. So that's why Till is asking for a hole. Okay. He was shown a large room with bare walls. Bare walls. Wouldn't be bare walls. Uh, look behind me. Can you see a wall? It's a bare wall. There is nothing to cover the uh, wall. So it's a bare wall. I will show you another bare wall. Look at the wall here. It's a bare wall. This is a door. This is the wall. Now I will show you another wall. Ah, look at this wall. Is it a bare wall? No. There are so many things on the wall. The paintings. Aren't they? So there are so many things. So it's a bare wall. And have you heard of a bare foot? What is a bare foot? A foot without a chapel, shoes or socks. Natnya pada. Okay. So bare means without something covered, that is. Bare walls. He was shown a, a large room. He was shown a large room. Shown. What will be shown? Show, short, shown. Okay. And listen here. Here is the two sentences. He was shown a large room. Another. The Archduke showed him a large room. What is the difference between these two sentences? Is there any difference in meaning? No. There is no difference in meaning. Then what is the difference? He was shown a large room. The Archduke showed him a large room. Here, the doer is not here. In this sentence, the doer is not here. He is, he was shown. Avani kaani chodutu. Aro, archidioko aro. He was shown. Here. The archiduke showed him a large room. The archiduke showed him. Okay. So, what is the difference here? In this sentence, there is no doer. Here, the doer is here. So, 
we can say this is passive sentence and this is active sentence doer undengil cheyda aal undengil ad active aanu cheyda aal illengilo passive that's all. okay he was shown a large room with bare walls till asked for thick curtains to be hung on the walls curtains don't you know uh, i will show you uh, curtains on the wall here these are the thick curtains on the wall okay so uh, till asked for curtains to hang on the wall why why he is asking for curtains thick curtains he wanted his paintings to be protected from the flies and the dust protected or to be protect save from flies and dust do you know flies yes you know and dust what will be dust podi flies you know house flies etc dust means podi and have you heard this sentence listen here without a speck of dust what do you mean by without a speck of dust oru thari podi polum illade neat very neat very clean that is without a speck of dust okay he also asked for three assistants to help him in mixing the colors till also asked for three assistants what do you mean by assistants helpers assistants means helpers and listen here assistants means uh, helpers below in rank and here is another word assistants that is help look at the difference in spelling this is t s and this is c e assistants this is assistants okay this assistants means helpers and this word means assistants means help okay yes so uh, till asked two things to the archduke what is the first one thick wall uh, sorry uh, thick curtains and the second thing three assistants to mix the colors okay the archduke gave him all that he asked for that is the archduke gave him everything colors assistants curtains everything okay next paragraph for 30 days till and his assistants feasted themselves on the choicest dishes and drank the finest wines on the 31st day the archduke thrust his nose in through the door and said it is time that you finish the painting i am eager to see it is it ready till said that the picture was being completed and that he needed some more days to finish it the archduke replied that as long as the painting was perfect in every detail he was prepared to be patient the delay of a week or two did not matter he said okay for 30 days till and his assistants feasted themselves feasted what do you mean by feasted do you remember on a feast yes feast means um food with so many items so feasted till till and his assistants feasted themselves on the choicest dishes and drank the finest wines finest very good excellent another word superb s u p e r b superb b superb what will be superb very good wines on the 31st day the archduke thrust his nose in through the door and said thrust what in be thrust put in forcefully put in forcefully 
thrust. But what do you mean by thrust his nose in? It's a phrase. Thrust nose into. Uh, listen, I will show you. Thrust your nose into. It's a phrase. It means that is the meaning thrust your nose into listen here's an example don't thrust your nose into your brother's affair he can manage on his own manage on his own so this is a uh, phrase thrust your nose into okay so now, what is the meaning here? Thrust his nose into. It is just uh, the Archduke entered the robe forcefully. Okay. And said, It is time that you finish the painting. Ah, this is the 35th day. One month has elapsed. So, this is the 35th day, and you must have finished the painting. I am eager to see it. Is it ready? Till said that the picture was being completed and that he needed some more days to finish it. The picture was being completed. Say the sentence. The picture was being completed. Once more. Okay, I will show you something. The picture was being completed and another thing, till was completing the picture. What is the difference between these two sentences? Is there a difference in meaning? No. But what is the difference then? Here is no doer. Here is the doer. The picture was being completed means till was completing the picture and this is the passive sentence and this is the active sentence why it is active yes ah the doer is here that is okay he needed some more days to finish it the archduke replied that as long as the painting was perfect in every detail, he was prepared to be patient. Ah, he is ready. He is prepared. He is ready to be patient. Patient, uh, there, are, there are two meanings for the word patient. One is patient of a hospital. Patients go, go to hospital. That patient. Uh, a person who is ill. That is. Then another patient means chemeyula, chemeyode. Okay. So here, me, here it means chemeyula. <clears throat> as long as the painting was perfect in every detail, he was prepared to be patient. So I think your uh, painting is perfect. So no problem. You can take two or not two uh, more weeks. That's all. The delay of a week or two did not matter, he said. Delay. What do you mean delay? Late. Tamasikira. Tamasam. Delay. Till and his companions continued their merry making for another fortnight. On the 45th day, once again the archdio poked his nose in through the door. Isn't it time that the picture was completed? He asked. Till said that the portrait was being given the finishing touches. Okay. Till and his companions continued their merry making. What do you mean merry making? Ahladam. For another fortnight. What do you mean by fortnight? Two weeks. The time of two weeks it's a unit of uh, the time do you know other units of time and what is the smallest unit of time ah, tell me what is the smallest unit of time yes you know it is second 
and 60 seconds make a minute. 60 minutes, an hour. H-O-U-R. How can we read it? Hour. Once more. H, the letter H is silent and we will read O as a hour. Okay? 24 hours makes a day. 7 days a week. What is the next uh, unit of time? Don't you know? Yes, fortnight. What do you mean fortnight? 2 weeks. Next, month. 12 months a year. Day cut. What do you mean day cut? 10 years. Next, century. Century means 10 day cuts. That is 100 years. Okay. And there are more uh, units of time. Smallest units and uh, long units. Find them out. Okay. From Google you can find them out. Okay. On the 45th day, once again the Archduke poked his nose in through the door. What do you mean poked his nose? I will, I will show you a picture. Then you can understand. This man is poking this fire with a stick. Poking the fire. What do you mean poking the fire? Ah, ilakuga. Yes, poking the fire. Here, Archduke is poking his nose through the door. What it means? Poked his nose through the door. That again a phrase. Don't you remember? Thrust his nose into the door. Don't you remember? Like that. Poked his nose in. That's all. Poked his nose in through the door. Isn't it time that the picture was completed? He asked. Have you completed the picture? Till said that the portrait was being given finishing touches. What do you mean by finishing touches? Minikubanigal, Avasana Minikubanigal, finishing touches. He begged for some more time. The Archduke said that his delay did not matter so long as he did an excellent job. Excellent. Very good. Another word? Finest. Can you give me another word? Splendid. Another word? Superb. Excellent. Superb. Then, splendid. Finest. All these are the words for very good. Okay. Very good job. Job, work. So, as long as he did an excellent job, there is no problem for the delay. Delay, tamasa. But he added, you should either complete the picture within 15 days or you should show me the unfinished picture now. Yeah. Here is two options for till. Two options. In this sentence, the Archduke is giving two options for till. Listen, what are they? You should complete the picture within 15 days. Or you should show me the unfinished picture now. What are the two options? These are. One, you should complete the picture within 15 days. That is the first option. Second option, you should show me the unfinished picture now. Okay. Uh, how these two options are combined in one sentence? This is only one sentence. Here are two sentences. How these two sentences are combined, two options are combined? Either or. Ado, ido. Either or. Okay. Yes. You should either complete the picture within 15 days or you should show me the unfinished picture now. Okay. Let us know uh, which is the option till. Now, 
till you uh, till is till like to take listen till promise to complete the picture within <clears throat> 15 days so which is the option till took the second uh, first option complete the picture within 15 days saying that only a few minor details remain to be filled in minor details minor small minor major major means big large minor means very small <coughs> very small details remain to be filled in so there are only finishing touches that is should your lordship see the painting now you would not be satisfied with it he said if you see the picture now you don't like it it is not complete so you don't like it so i will finish the picture within 15 days and i will show you that is satisfied what will be satisfied tripti avuga okay till and his companions enjoyed themselves for at another fortnight on the 16th morning the archduke forced his way into the room and said i must see the picture at once where is the picture throw those curtains apart okay till and his companions enjoyed themselves for at another fortnight enjoyed really enjoyed aswichu on the 60th morning on uh, see here this word and this word what is the difference in pronunciation tell me how we read this word <clears throat> on how do we uh, read this word one v not o but v one on one some of you or most of, most of the uh, people make uh, errors in pronouncing these words so you remember this is on and this is one our lower lip touches the upper teeth okay one okay on the 16th morning the archduke forced his way into the room forced his way into the room he didn't knock he didn't tap just forced the door open and get into the room <clears throat> his way into the room and said i must see the picture at once where is the picture throw those curtains apart ah archduke is uh, not in a good mood he is angry where is the picture throw those curtains apart throw the curtains apart apart what do you mean apart yes remove the curtains draw what do you mean draw d r a w draw drawing the picture you know and draw the water what do you mean draw the water is it a drawing the water on a canvas <laughs> no then what what it means draw the water means vellam koriga cupping kairu ubhiyogichu vellam koriga draw the water okay throw those curtains apart what what it means draw the curtains apart remove the curtains what it means remove the curtains the picture is ready my lord announced it okay my lord the picture is ready then why don't you draw the curtains what's the matter the archduke asked why don't you draw the curtains what is the matter the archduke asked asked i want you to grant me one last favor said he please order all the courtiers to assemble in this room i want you to grant me g r a n t grant 
give. Please give me one more favor. Grant. What is the meaning? Grant. Give. There is another word. G R A N D. Grant. What it means? It means very good, excellent, ah, superb, splendid, etc. Grand feast. Don't you remember? Grand festival. Grand wedding. What do you mean by grand? Excellent. What is the uh, difference in spelling? T and D. T. Grant. Naka mugale vetch parayana. Grant. But what about this word grant? Naka the chardai madaki parayana. D. D parayana. Okay. Grant. Grant. I want you to grant me one last favor. What do you mean by favor? Help. Help. Favor means help. Uh, listen here. Will you do me a favor? What it means? Will you do me a favor? In Malayalam we can ask. That is. Will you do me a favor? And my children, my dears, will you do me a favor? Will you read the whole story after the class? Will you do? <laughs> Will you do me a favor? Okay, that is. I want you to grant me one last favor, said Till. Please order all the courtiers to assemble in this room. Please call all the courtiers here in this room. Assemble. What do you mean assemble? Don't you know assembly? Assembly in the school? What do you mean by assembly in the school? All the students come together in a hall or in the ground. That is assembly. So here assemble means come together. Assemble. What is the meaning? Come together. Okay. When they are here, I want to say a few words to them. I want to talk to them, talk to the courtiers and then I will draw the curtains. Okay, after I say some words to them, I will draw the curtains. Okay. <clears throat> the Archduke ordered all the courtiers to assemble in the hall till addressed with them. My lord, ladies and gentlemen, the picture is ready. You will now be able to draw the curtains. <clears throat> you will now be able, as I draw the curtains, to see how well I have done my work. You can all admire my work. But I must warn you that there is something very special about this picture. Only those among you who have noble blood in your veins will be able to see this painting. All the rest, whatever their rank or position, will see nothing but a blank wall. <clears throat> now, I will draw the curtains till flung the curtains aside. The Archduke ordered all the courtiers to assemble in the hall. <clears throat> so, here is all the courtiers. The old woman, Archduke, the chief of the army, everyone is here. Till addressed them. What do you mean by addressed? Address means uh, speak to someone. Address. Address in the letter. Don't you remember? Address in the letter. Uh, here address means speak to something, someone. Till addressed them. My lord, ladies and gentlemen, the picture is ready. You will now be able, as I draw the curtains, to see how well I have done my work. How well? What do you mean how well? Etra na nai I have done my work. My work. What was his work? What was Till's work? Paint the Portrait of the Archduke and the Courtiers. Okay. 
you can all admire my work admire appreciate abhinandikkuga admire appreciate my work but i must warn you that there is something very special about this picture yeah this picture is very special i will tell you what is the speciality listen only those among you who have noble blood in your veins will be able to see the painting noble blood what will be noble blood noble means here pure 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 blood noble blood pavitramaya rakta in your veins vein don't you know blood veins that is noble blood in your veins will be able to see the painting if you have very pure blood then you can see the picture in on the wall if you don't have the pure blood noble blood you can't see the picture listen all the rest rest r e s t rest what do you mean rest namku ariyavunnada rest in a cot rest and sleep you know the rest here and then mara mara and then rest here what is the meaning നമ്മൾ റെസ്റ്റ് എടുക്കുക എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വിശ്രമിക്കുക യെസ് ബട്ട് ദർ ഇസ് അനദർ മീനിങ് ഫോർ റെസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് റെസ്റ്റ് മീൻസ് ബാലൻസ് ബാക്കിയുള്ള ഓൾ ദ റെസ്റ്റ് ബാക്കിയുള്ളവർ എന്നർത്ഥം ഓൾ ദ റെസ്റ്റ് വാട്ട് എവർ ദ റാങ്ക് ഹോ പൊസിഷൻ വിൽ സി നാഥിങ് ബട്ട് എ ബ്ലാങ്ക് വോൾ ഇഫ് യു ഡോണ്ട് ഹാവ് നോബിൾ ബ്ലാക്ക് യു വിൽ സി ഓൺലി ബ്ലാങ്ക് വോൾ നോ പിക്ചർ get the idea get the idea of till okay very clever isn't it yes all the rest whatever their rank or position will see nothing but a blank wall now i will throw the curtains till flung the curtains aside flung the word flung means valichiriga ivide endana valichu maati till flung the curtains aside aside to one side aside means to one side okay the courtiers outdid one another in showing their admiration for the picture the courtiers outdid outdid what do you mean outdid here look here also outdid means do something better than someone else do something better than someone else matrale kai nalleyali iyalu cheyga that is outdated oraalu cheyidine kai nannai matrale cheyga that is outdated the courtiers outdid one another in showing their admiration for the picture admiration abhinandanam aswadanam for the picture they praised the till for his splendid painting splendid praised the what do you mean praised the pugalti abhinandichu praised splendid painting they remarked they remarked said remark the here means said they remarked how natural each one of them looked in the picture how natural natural സ്വാഭാവികം കാണുന്നത് പോലെ ഹൗ നാച്ചുറൽ ഈച്ച് വൺ ഓഫ് ദം ലുക്ക് ഇൻ ദ പിക്ചർ ആൻഡ് ഈഗർലി പോയിൻറ്റഡ് ഔട്ട് ദ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് അക്വൈൻറ്റൻസസ് പോയിൻറ്റഡ് ഔട്ട് ദർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് പോയിൻറ്റഡ് ഔട്ട് ആ ലുക്ക് ആ ദർ ഇസ് ദ ഡ്യൂക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ചെസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ചീഫ് ഓഫ് ദ ആർമി ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ കമ്പാനിയൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഡച്ചസ് they are pointing out in the picture get the idea of the till yeah they pointed out their friends and acquaintances what do you mean acquaintances familiar persons parijekar all of a sudden the duke's jester leaped into the air and shouted 
all of a sudden suddenly okay by all of a sudden suddenly the duke's jester jester okay by jester komali joker jester joker have you seen joker i will show you listen here uh, this is a joker circus ile ke undallo joker yes uh, in olden days in a palace there should be a joker uh, to make the king happy that is a joker fool there is another word for joker fool jester yet another word jester j e s t e r jester jester means one who uh, tells jokes so jest means joke okay leap the into the air leap the or you may leap jumped leap the means jumped uh, the apt malayalam word is kudichu jaaduga and uh, i hope you know these words listen here don't you know these words one small step for man one tiny leap for mankind one small step for man one giant leap for mankind do, do you remember who said these words here is the hint in the picture here is the hint if you don't know search in google and find out who said these words and when this is a challenge for you find them find it out and said the uh, and send the answer in our english group that's a challenge for you okay one small step for man one giant leap for mankind leap kudichu jaatam okay all of a sudden the duke's jester leaped into the air and shouted fool a uh, jester joker all of you know that i'm a fool all of you know that i am a fool and i have no blue blood in my veins blue blood noble blood royal blood i i have no royal blood i am a fool i can see no picture but only a blank wall i can see no picture but only a blank wall i have no blue blood so i see only a blank wall no picture what do you think about that what is the gesture uh, joker saying the truth isn't it is there a picture a portrait on the wall yes no there is no portrait on the wall no picture on the wall so the gesture is the joker is telling the truth okay when fools begin to talk observed it is time for wise man to walk he calmly strode out of the hole and rode away on his donkey the feathers in his cap danced in the gentle breeze <clears throat> when fools begin to talk it's time for wise man to walk fools manda buthigal ivide vithigal വിട്ടികളെ സംസാരിക്കുമ്പോൾ ബുദ്ധിമാന്മാർ എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം വോക്ക് ഔട്ട് ഗോ ഔട്ട് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ വെൻ ഫുൾസ് ബിഗിൻ ടു ടോക്ക് ഇറ്റ്സ് ടൈം ഫോർ വൈസ് മാൻ ടു വോക്ക് ഒബ്സേർവ് ടോക്ക് വോക്ക് ഹി കാംലി സ്ട്രോഡ് ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ഹോൾ കാംലി കൂളി സ്ട്രോഡ് ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ഹോൾ സ്ട്രോഡ് ഔട്ട് വോക്ക് ഔട്ട് സ്ട്രോഡ് മീൻസ് stride strode <clears throat> stride means walk uh, very slowly gently strode out of the hole walked out of the hole and rode away on his donkey he jumped down the donkey and rode away the feathers in his cap danced in the gentle breeze do you remember the three feathers on his cap when he come to the palace 
it it danced in the breeze do you remember and when he he is going away the, those three feathers danced in the gentle breeze gentle breeze manda maride okay so this is the story how clever till is isn't he so uh, he he cheated the archduke and the courtiers very cleverly okay so i hope you like the uh, story okay now we have uh, finished the lesson and i want you to do one thing <clears throat> have you heard the story രാജാവ് നഗ്നനാണ് ഹവ് യു എവർ ഹേർഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇഫ് യു ഡോൺ ഹേർഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇഫ് യു ഡോൺ ലിസൺ ടു ദാറ്റ് സ്റ്റോറി ആസ്ക് യുവർ ഫാദർ ഓർ മദർ ഓർ ഗ്രാൻഡ് ഫാദർ ഓർ ഗ്രാൻഡ് മദർ അവർക്ക് എന്തായാലും ആ കഥ അറിയായിരിക്കും രാജാവ് നഗ്നനാണ് എന്ന കഥ അത് അവരോട് ചോദിച്ച് മനസ്സിലാക്കിയിട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് റിക്കോർഡ് ദാറ്റ് സ്റ്റോറി അതിൻ്റെ ഒരു അതിൻ്റെ ഒരു സംഗ്രഹം ചെറുത് അതിനെ അതിനെ ഒന്ന് ചുരുക്കി ഒന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് റെക്കോർഡ് ചെയ്ത് പോസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ പോസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ഇൻ അവർ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ യുവർ ചലഞ്ച് സോ ദർ ആർ ടു ചലഞ്ചസ് ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ഹൂ സെറ്റ് ദോ സെൻറ്റൻസസ് ആൻഡ് ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദിസ് സ്റ്റോറി ഓക്കെ സോ വി ആർ സ്റ്റോപ്പിംഗ് അവർ ക്ലാസ് ടുഡേ നൗ let us see in the next class till then see you and come to our group for discussion to clear your doubts okay see you in the next class till then bye bye